Our next idea is to have you look at working with and playing with some tangrams. So what you see here uh, are a set of tangrams. It's an ancient Chinese puzzle, uh, thousands of years old. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon, but I will also show you how to make them. And once you have them, what we do is create uh, visuals or uh, work against each other, so, so compete to create images uh, using all of these pieces without them overlapping. So we're um, gonna create some tangrams ourselves. All I need is a piece of paper and something to write with and some scissors. At first, what I need is a square piece of paper. I don't have that, so I'm gonna make a square by folding uh, at this corner along the edge. And once I've done that, I can cut off this piece to end up with a square. Okay. I'm gonna do that now. So any, any piece of paper, you turn it into a square by folding it kind of to make a square. Yeah. And uh, I'm also gonna fold it the other diag on the other diagonal. So let me do that really quickly. It's nice if you're careful about lining up the points uh, and get nice clean corners, but it should still work pretty good without, without if you have little ones that have a hard time with that. So I'm gonna draw some lines of where I'll make cuts. I know I'm definitely gonna cut here across one diagonal all of the way. And once that's done, I'll cut here as well. Oh, but you didn't go all the way across. But I'm leaving this blank for now. Okay. Yeah. And so the next thing I want to do, I'm going to start working on the pieces that that are, uh, let's say, in this top half. I'm going to take the top corner and fold it into the center. This triangle will be a piece, so I'm going to put a line there now. And so you're saying parents should just do this with their kids. Like the kids are making one, yeah. the parents are making one. They could definitely. All right. So there's another cut that'll be right here. All right. I'm going to, oops, I didn't do a very good job of that. That's all right. That's See, okay. That's, that's the beauty of math. You don't Alrighty. have to be perfect. I'm going to fold this corner in. So the piece, before you do any cuts, do all of the markings. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that goes all the way across so far, I'm going to fold both of these corners in. So I'm gonna do that here, and I'm gonna do this one at the same time as well. So now we're done with, well, we're not done with folding, actually. Uh, this helps me. Uh, I have now my medium-sized triangle. Those are my two larger ones. Uh, but this fold right here, when we cut, what it'll do is oh. make a square yeah. and a smaller triangle. Uh -huh. The one that last. So we've got some creases that you're not. You're not yeah, we won't lines. use this. Okay. Uh, so the the last uh, cut line will be from this corner right here. Again, I'm at the top of the medium size triangle, okay. and I'm going to connect it to this fold line right here. So I have a fold line. I'm going to put a dot right there, and I want to fold it or connect these. So you could use oh. a straight edge to do that. I'm just going to fold. And I'm gonna use those two dots to line up and figure out where I need Whoa. to fold it. But we could have like used a book or something. You could just use a book. As yeah. a straight edge and draw a yep, straight line. exactly. To go from dot from here. to dot. To here. Got it. And now your only job is to cut along all of these lines that we've drawn. So we have some creases that we're not gonna cut on, just yes, the lines. exactly. You'll have two large triangles. You'll have one medium and two small triangles. You'll have a square and a parallelogram. Now, if you don't like the folds, once you've done this, you could use this and trace it onto something that's maybe a heavier uh, paper type, like cardstock if you have it, um, or even just another piece of paper so that it's it's not bent, but it shouldn't affect uh, the work that you do with the tangram puzzles. All right, so now get cutting. All right, so there is the like the official kind from like Amazon or something. And then here is the homemade version that cost us nothing but a single sheet of paper and a little bit of time. Woohoo! Dwayne, are you ready to do a puzzle? So yeah, sure. What are we gonna do? Um, well, you already saw the square. Uh, I usually start by saying build a square if you already have them. Uh, but we started with them, so maybe start by uh, making a rectangle. Okay. 
Okay. He's and gonna I'm try supposed and to do a rectangle. rectangle. Yeah. Okay, I have no clue. Uh, so it's got to be pretty big because of these big triangles. And I have no idea. So I'm gonna start by just, I don't know, I'm just gonna like literally just put stuff together. Oops, that's a small. I'm gonna see if I can do, am I, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Oh, dude, dude, honestly, this is cool. I have, I, y'all aren't gonna believe this, but I have never done this before in my life. And so I got lucky. I used a little bit of logic here. So let's recap. You get a single piece of paper, you get some scissors, you got a little pen, and then fold. So you're gonna have to go back and rewind and pause and all that sort of stuff. But using just simple materials, you can make your own tangram. And then the idea is to use your pieces to uh, build shapes and, and make designs and have just loads of fun with your family. Tangram pieces I have as cards, but you can also uh, invent your own and Google images and find some that are already online for you. So go out and have fun with your family doing some math.